Well, good day, guys. It's Billy here from LostTreasure.com.au. Well, things are pretty tight, guys. I've started um, collecting uh, scrap plastic just to survive. So things are pretty grim, guys. Not just here in Australia, but all around the world. So, you know, guys, get five cents each for these bottles. So it adds up, I suppose. No, I'm just joking guys, I'm just joking, I'm not that bloody stupid. No, the reason I'm making this video guys is because I was watching a um, video last night by user um, Adventures with Pick and he was saying how things are so bad in America, you know, everyone's starting to scrap metal and everything else. Well personally guys, I think it's going to get a lot worse than that. I honestly think that things are going to get really, really bad in the very near future. The reason I'm doing this video about scrapping plastic is because, um, like I just said, things are getting really bad, you know. Things aren't that bad for me. I'm pretty lucky, guys. I get a, 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 um, a small Navy pension, so I'm very, very grateful um, for that from Department of Veterans Affairs. I, um, but like I say guys, you know, I've seen over in China and India and Asia and everywhere else in the, you know, Western, I mean the third world countries, people scrap plastic just to survive. I honestly think that in the, like I said, in the very near future, um, it's going to get to that stage where people in Western countries such as America, England, um, European countries, Australia, people might have to start bloody scrapping plastic just to survive, not just scrap metal, but scrap plastic, bloody cardboard paper, everything else. Where I am right now, guys, this is a local rubbish dump um, in my hometown, so we're very lucky. We can just come out here and just dump our rubbish. Um, it gets buried in that big deep hole just over there in the, in the background. Um, I usually come out, you know, a few times a week and do a bit of scrapping for scrap metal, like just over here, for example. There's some nice sheets of uh, aluminum. But like I say, guys, um, I think one day in the near future, um, it will get that bad, you know, when the oil runs out, um, because most of this plastic, if not most products um, that we take for granted, are made from um, natural oil like the oil what they um, pump up from the ground and that's not going to last forever so guys I just thought I'd make this quick video as a reminder you know like um, Adventure with Pick said you know everyone's starting to scrap metal in his um, hometown in the United States um, and also got you know also I honestly think that you know there should be an incentive um, especially here in Western Australia where you can take your plastic bottles and so forth and get money for them. Um, in South Australia, the next state across from Western Australia to the right, um, you can actually get like five, I think five to ten cents each per plastic bottle. So there's no incentive, you know, you look at all this garbage waste, um, it's all going to get buried in landfill. And obviously it's not very good for the environment. But in the country, or if not all around Australia, you know, there's hundreds of thousands of rubbish dumps like this, so where else are you going to do it? But there is a lot of good people in Australia who do recycle plastic and everything else. We do have our bin recycling days every Wednesday, where all our recyclable material gets picked up by a proper recycling company and gets recycled in another big town so that's a great thing but like i say guys you know you watch in china um videos on people scrapping in china and india they collect anything and they make money from bloody plastic paper cardboard you know so maybe the australian government should certainly think of doing that for an incentive especially for people who are battling financially pensioners
you know. Anyway, guys, if you are any of you guys are pensioners and you're battling, um, you know there's there is a lot of money to be made from scrapping. So get off your ass, get you know, get away from that bloody computer and the TV, and you know start scrapping. You'll make some good money, and it definitely adds up. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to pick up this nice couple of nice sheets of aluminum just over here. Put in the back of the trailer, and as you can see, some nice sheets just here. Quite a bit of aluminum, actually. But all right, guys. Well, I appreciate you watching. The dogs are getting impatient, waiting for me. It's bloody hot today. About 37 it's going to be. Hopefully we'll get a bit of rain later. They're forecasting thunderstorms. So as you can see over in the distance, it's slowly starting to build up. So hopefully we'll get a nice thunderstorm tonight. Guys, all that uh, aluminium is just from the rubbish stump. Looks like it used to be an old caravan, so quite a bit of weight there, fellas. So I'll save that for a rainy day. Um, so once again, I'm out at Steve's property and just dumping it here so it's nice and safe and secure. And so that way I don't make my house a mess again like it was before. So there's a fair bit there guys, so it's well loose. I just set it a bit more scrap iron to the scrap pole here. So it's slowly building up. And I also ended up grabbing this um, old freezer with the beautiful old uh, copper uh, insert. So all of this is all copper. I don't know if I'll scrap it, I reckon I might even just keep it for myself. Um, you know, if I ever go prospecting or whatever, it'd be perfect for an ice box. Just got to get a lid made up for it. But that's absolutely beautiful, what a good score that one is. And there's the rest of the scrap I've collected over the last couple of weeks. So it's slowly building up. Alright guys, I've got to um, go and drop my trial off now. So if you had seen in one of my previous videos a couple of months ago, this whole cage came off with the dogs in the back. So Nick from Dobby Young Engineering is going to fix it up for me and fix up the tow lights and the main thing is fix up this here where it's all worn away from vibrations and stuff alright guys appreciate you watching and we'll chat soon see ya